Ibn Taymiyyah actually ended up using Mantik because he was presented with, by his time, a lot of these groups had established books and thought, schools of thought. So he had to uh, make um, read of these. And so he delves into the arguments. But earlier than Ibn Taymiyyah, you had like, uh, um, Ibn Khudama, right, who didn't really engage in these rhetorical arguments. He just simply stated what the imams and what, what, what the ahadith said about in the ayat of the Qur'an. That's pretty much what he did. Um, but you'll find it in Ibn Taymiyyah's work, like I think Aqidat al-Tahwiyya, I mean, I'm sorry, Aqidat al-Hamawiyya or Aqidat al wasitiyya where he goes into these arguments about about why and why why we believe this and why we can't believe what they believe and so forth and so on. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is very nice. This is very, uh, yeah, alhamdulillah. I love learning about this stuff because, bro, to be honest, like, um, you know, the Darul Ulooms, they don't really touch on this stuff. But, you know, um, you, you know if I can give you advice, though, to be honest, uh, look, I'll tell you as, 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 as someone who's on a pathway to knowledge and on this thing, in my own experience, my own personal life experience, don't waste too much time with Aqidah. I mean, if you, if you understand Allah is one, you affirm his attributes, you don't, and you say, Laysa kamit lihi shay. It's simple. Islam is meant to be simple. Right? There are other, many other things that you can spend learning that will, that will benefit you more in terms of practicing as a Muslim. Right? I mean, if you want to engage in debates, yes, it's more, you need to know this stuff. But if you're not really engaging in debates beyond this, you know, I would say you can pick up a, a uh, book of Muslim. Uh, can I ask you a question, Akhi? Yeah. You said uh, if you understand Allah is one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, does Ahad? Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. Does it mean one? This is unique. Uh, ahad means it's unique. The singularity. Ah, uh, the unique one. He's, it's unique in singularity. Like there's Ahad. No. There's nothing like him. So, so how many fingers does Allah have? It's irrelevant. Why, why does it matter? Bro, what question are you even saying? Did you really just ask that dumbass question? What does that matter? Uh, because because you said why would you Allah ask has... how many fingers does Allah have? Are you stupid? No, 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 no. Because you shouldn't even think that, bro. You started the part. You actually you started the part. You shouldn't even think that. Hey, I'm Rafid. You're a fucking mushrik, bro. Get the fuck no. out of here. <laughs> I don't fucking need retard, bro. This is the month does of Allah Ramadan. Have three how many fingers does Allah have? You fucking cap. Okay, okay, Get the fuck okay, out of okay. here, bro. It's your scholar. Your scholar say, you say Allah, Allah, Allah has four you fingers. Should be scared to, you should have scared in your heart to ask that question, you dumb bitch. You're a fucking...